All right, I'm live, dude. Wow, so many peeps. So many peeps. Hello. Hi. So today, basically what I'm doing is showing you guys basically what I've been using for the past nine months, I think it's been, 10 months, the Bash Acne Scar Starter System. As you can tell, my acne scars have gotten so much better, like barely noticeable now. I do have some hyperpigmentation from some breakouts I had like the past couple months, and then I got that because, you know, mother nature is a thing and stuff, but no, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. Um, I really haven't been wearing any makeup. I for whatever reason can't stand the feeling of anything on my face anymore it just gets like an oil slick by the end of the day and it just feels gross and I don't know I'm also into like non-toxic makeup as well and I haven't found anything that I really really love yet so I just haven't really been wearing any makeup as of recently um, hello to Germany and thank you for watching at 5 in the morning and I am from the United States of America and I also feel like I break out no matter what even if it is non toxic I always break out when I wear makeup and it really really stinks so um, yeah I don't know man I am going to show you guys how to do the banisher and basically what I'm doing right now is I am soaking it in um, sanitizing it in alcohol and this is 90% you want to use either like 75 to 90% somewhere in there and I have the banisher in here and the pen stamp oh my gosh could you see I was watching Hercules yeah <laughs> I'm having a little Disney binge that's pretty funny that you noticed that um, but yeah so you want to let this soak for about 10 to 15 minutes I'm going to go grab really quick the um, pore smasher because I have the handle but I just need to grab the ice roller out of my fridge and I like to do that before I roll because it kind of numbs your face a little bit and then you won't really feel it as much and then I mean it's not really like painful anyways but it just helps you know um, I am 22 I had to think about that that's really sad all right I'm tired and yes my scars did definitely go away with the roller um, it's helped a lot like a lot a lot they used to be a lot worse I used to have one I remember really bad right here that really bothered me and I feel like my face looks relatively clear now um, I've been using it for a while I would say it takes definitely like two to three months to see results but for the most part besides you know that <laughs> for the most part it does look pretty good um, you can roll even if you have acne, yes, definitely. You need to um, make sure that you don't hit the acne though or else that will spread the active acne bacteria and then that could cause more breakouts. What I like to do is like mark my spots with a mask, so I'll use the pumpkin enzyme mask and just put it on my spot to make sure I don't hit it because that way if I do hit it, then it'll spread the mask and I'll know like, oh crap, I need to make sure I'm not getting so close. Or you could use the pen stamp as well and just stamp around the that area. Oops. Um, and my scars were about, oh, it's been a while, two, three years old. Um, I don't know, I've had acne for a while, but I feel like they've built up over time. So some of them could be old as six years and some of them, you know, two years. And then with the banisher, you only need to press like a light motion. So I'm going to go grab the uh, pore smasher really quick out of my fridge and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I'm going to start by using the pore smasher. Ooh. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up on all your guys' comments. Um, there is a solution for acne scars, definitely. I mean, there's microneedling, which is basically what derma rolling is, which is what the banisher is. There is lasering, which you could try. Some people swear by microdermabrasion. Some people like to use chemical peels. Don't ever feel like you don't have an option because there's definitely options for acne scars to make them appear better. Um, no, the banisher does not hurt like at all. It doesn't even make you bleed or anything. It does not hurt. And I'm going to start by using the pore smasher. As you can see, it's like a little bit icy. It is clean. I clean it after every use, so I'll just wash it with a little bit of like 
the Johnson's and Johnson's baby soap. It's the same thing that I use for my makeup brushes when I do wear makeup. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna go like this with it. I did. <laughs> you said run, Callie, run. I ran. Oh girl, I ran. I know. The dogs are going crazy. Archie, go, please, go lay down. Come on, come on. Uh, yeah, this has definitely helped if you have acne and hyperpigmentation and scarring and want to get rid of it. Banish definitely 100% has helped me like a lot. More than anything, I'd say. Um, I haven't really considered doing a chemical peel. Um, I like... Why are you so expensive? I like Banish actually because they're not expensive compared to doing a chemical peel or compared to, um, you know, laser resurfacing, stuff like that. Like that's a couple of thousand dollars just for one treatment and that's not even guaranteed to work. Um, so I don't know, I haven't really considered it yet. Maybe, you know, in the future, but I feel like I'm seeing progress with Banish and I also like the fact that it's natural and that it's using my own body, you know, to recreate the collagen and to kind of fill in the scars. Am I still on Accutane? No. I took Accutane back in either 2014 or 2015. And I was only on it for six months. Um, and then my acne ended up actually coming back after Accutane, obviously. <laughs> You could definitely use the derma roller for stretch marks. Yes, stretch marks, acne scars. I used to have way more prominent like forehead lines, like because I am very expressionistic. I go like, oh, ew. I go like this a lot. I go like this a lot. So I used to have really prominent forehead lines, and I feel like it's helped with that as well. Um, it helps with large pores and um, boxcar scars. I mean, you can use it for ice pick scars as well. I change my banisher every like four to six uses, I would say. Um, the reason for that is not only because the bacteria builds up, but also because the needles get duller with time. And with that, you're not gonna get as good results. So you wanna replace it like at least, you know, every two, two and a half months. Okay, so this is the pore smasher, and what I'm doing right now is I'm numbing my face before I go in with the banisher. I'm not on any acne medicine, you guys. Um, I'm basically just doing a low glycemic anti-inflammatory diet, and that is what has helped me the most, as well as just maintaining like constant exercise regimen. And by low glycemic, I mean I'm not eating like hardly any refined carbs, ate a lot of greens, um, not really any meats, and no sugar, like barely any sugar. And that basically helps with my blood sugar levels, and if my blood sugar levels don't spike, I don't get an inflammation response in my body, and that is what, for me, triggers my acne. Okay, so I would say this is pretty good. I've been doing it for like, I don't know what you say, four to five minutes. Feels pretty numb, <laughs> so I think we're okay. And to clean this, someone asked, you just pop it out like this, and then you can wash this part, and then just pop it back into your freezer. And then this, you can just, I just keep it in my um, vanity. So now I'm gonna go with this banisher, or maybe I should put my hair up first. Okay, I don't know what's going on. That's gonna have to work, okay. So I have my banisher. I'm gonna keep trying to answer questions as I go if I can. Um, yes, you can also use it on the neck as well if you want. I have some necklines. I actually never even really thought about that. I've seen a lot of people use it on their lips as well to kind of get um, more collagen in their lips. So it kind of gives it like a little bit more plump looking, you know? Um, and so with this, you wanna go like about five times in one direction and then I'll move, you know, keep going. And then I'll go the next direction five times and then maybe like catty corner five times and then the opposite. Like I said before, I'm gonna mark any spots I have just with the pumpkin mask 
So I have one right there. Ooh, girl. That's, that's, that's real cute. That's all hyperpigmentation, but this could be still some left in there. So I'm just gonna mark those just so, you know, I know that they're there and I don't hit them. And then I'm going to start just by going in the vertical direction like this. And that's good for that. And then I'll move on to the next side. And just so you guys know, my face does get really red. I have really, really sensitive ginger skin, but it does not hurt. I swear it does not hurt. Um, but my face is just like that. It gets red no matter what. It'll get red if I'm tired, if I drink too much caffeine, if it's hot outside. So I don't know. I wouldn't take that as anything, but it will get really red and everything will look a lot worse. But when I wake up tomorrow morning, it'll look 20 million times better. Does acne medication mess with derma rolling? Like, can you take medication while rolling? Um, Accutane, you cannot. Um, but any other thing, like antibiotics or something like that, I'm not really sure. I'd have to double check that for you. I think it would be fine, you know, because that's just an antibiotic that's not really messing with your body. I'm gonna do a little bit just right up here. And down here. Oops. And then I'm gonna go the opposite way. Or I guess not the opposite, but horizontal. And yes, yeah, Spanish does sell a kit that comes with um, the pore smasher I just used, the banisher, pumpkin mask, charcoal mask, pin stamp, like it comes with everything. And it's called the starter kit and that is my favorite that is what I would opt for oh and just so you guys know they do have as well the battalion set um, which is on sale right now I think it's with any purchase over 150 that you get it for free so that's something to keep as mind keep as mind keep in mind as well um, and that masking set is really awesome. It's really great if you have sensitive skin. Uh, the mask texture and that kit too is really different. It's really like silky soft when you put it on. It's not drying like some clay masks can be. So I really like that about it. And then now I'm just going to go in like a vertical direction this way. What makes me break out? Girl, you know what? I wish I knew because <laughs> that would make my life a whole lot easier. Um, <laughs> so much makes me break out. And oh yeah, I'm doing about like five strokes in each direction just so you guys know. Um, it just depends. I mean stress, eating poorly, um, drinking too much alcohol. It's usually a combination of everything that I feel like makes me break out. But never hygiene. I feel like that's such a bad stereotype that people think that people with acne have poor hygiene. Like, girl, you know my 12-step skincare routine every single night? And you're just like splashing your face with water? Are you kidding me? What do you wash the banisher in? So I'm just going to move on to the next cheek now. I feel like this one's done. Um, you wash it in like the, what is it, iso prep roll? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Rubbing alcohol. So either 75 to like 90% is kind of what you want. Nothing really below that. You do not push really hard with this. You can do pretty softly. It's still gonna give you the same results. So don't feel like you have to push hard. Everyone's freaking out about Hercules being on the screen. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's on Hulu. They just added like a million Disney movies. I'm not the owner of Banish. Um, the owner of Banish is Daisy, Dazers. And yeah, not me, but she's still awesome. Uh, 
Spanish acne scars does ship worldwide, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to double check that for you, but um, I just like, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they do ship worldwide. Now I'm gonna move this way. Do I use foundation? Um, I was just talking about this earlier, that's funny. Not really anymore since I moved to all non-toxic beauty products. I still haven't really found one that I love. I use sometimes a BB cream and that brand is Andalou Naturals and I really, really like their BB cream. And I got that at Fresh Time. You probably also get it at Whole Foods or like Trader Joe's, um, local supermarket like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna do my forehead. I honestly never really do my chin because that was never a problem for me. It was always just like, I used to have a really prominent line like right here that I had cystic acne. You can kind of see it, but it's definitely not as bad since I've been using Banish. What am I using to fade out the scars? This right here, girl, Banish. Yes. Oh, this is nice. I don't even have to like move the roller. I'm just like rolling my head into it. That's Roko right there. Oh. Um, and someone asked, if they take doxycycline, would it be okay to use Banish at the same time? I am not sure about that. I would have to double check for you. I am not 100% sure. Um, I've taken it before and I'm, if I can remember, that's an antibiotic, so I think it would be okay. The only thing I know with that is that I think there's something with like sun exposure, um, but besides that, I, I don't see why it would affect it. It doesn't really affect, um, you know, your healing rate or like the thickness of your skin or anything like that, so I don't see why that wouldn't be okay. I heard this isn't good for your skin because it's cutting bigger holes in the skin. If you just got a needle treatment, well, it only punctures the skin and doesn't roll. What do you say about that? Um, from my own experience, I would say that it has worked amazingly for my skin. It has worked amazingly for my scars. It's definitely like evened everything out. It also creates like microscopic tiny holes that you can't see to the eye um, so I don't think it's really cutting bigger skin or bigger holes in your skin and the fact that you're moving it like this the needle can't tear it's just moving in the rolling motion so I think it is perfectly safe and fine and it is 0.5 millimeter roller and then also sanitizing alcohol the pen stamp and I'm going to just go go in and like on the deeper areas is where I like to use this uh, usually you're supposed to use it like around you know oh where'd that mask come from or is that mask I don't know that would be chocolate I was eating chocolate earlier I'm a mess um, so you could use it around this area but I like to use it kind of like deeper which you can kind of see after I've been rolling so you literally just stamp it down And you do absolutely do not have to do this. I just like to do it um, to feel like I get, you know, a little bit more aggressive. I get a little bit more in there, girl. I'm gonna use it on like the kind of the hyperpigmentation too. Uh, pumpkin enzyme mask and charcoal mask, what do they do? Do they help prevent acne breakouts? So the pumpkin enzyme mask works as a um, exfoliator. So it'll help to shed excess skin cells on your skin and also helps for me to shrink the size of your acne because it's taking off that extra layer of skin. Your skin cells aren't getting like clogged up and then it's not creating the acne. Um, and for charcoal mask, that will definitely suck out, if you're an oily person, oily skin type, it'll suck out any excess oil, it'll shrink the pores that you have in your nose, like all around here in your T-zone, 
um, and it will definitely help with that kind of thing. I love the pumpkin mask and also it just smells amazing. Pumpkin mask helps as well with hyperpigmentation because it's helping to, like I said, exfoliate naturally. Um, it'll help to exfoliate and show the new layer of skin. And then now I'm going to go in with the Banish Oil, formerly known as the Vitamin C Serum. And my hands are clean. I did wash them like right before this. Dude, look at the little, the little Herc dude in the back. He's pretty funny. He is very funny looking. And I just put like a little drop on there. And I'm really happy someone asked would I ever consider taking a second course of Accutane? Because absolutely not. <laughs> um, that's my own personal opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I just feel like if it didn't work the first time, why would it work a second time? And also if I am not really breaking out really bad except for maybe like once a month, why would I put myself through that again? I feel like if you have acne prone skin, you will oh like you're always gonna have some type of acne. Like you can manage it and it can be better, but it you know, you're always gonna go through phases where it's a little bit better or it's a little bit worse. And me having one breakout a month isn't really like traumatizing me and if I can heal it naturally through my diet and through lifestyle change I would rather do that especially since Accutane is so hard on your body it's so hard on your liver um, I used to be like a huge proponent for it but then once I realized hey all these people are getting off and then as soon as they get off they break out right away it's like what's the point just have clear skin for six months you know I don't know that's my own personal opinion um, if you have taken it a second time and it's helped you, then that's amazing, but at this point in time, I have not been thinking about it at all. Yes, to everyone who said they just bought a starter kit, because it's the best. Oh, and just so you guys know, I am just soaking again, now that I'm done, both the pen stamp and the banisher. And I usually let it soak for about like 20 minutes after and then I'll lay it to dry flat on a paper towel. Um, you don't want to put it right back into the container because if it's still wet, that's not really sanitary, you know. So put it somewhere where it's not going to get contaminated. How many months after Accutane did I wait to use the kit? I waited about, I think it was five and a half months to use the kit. I, oh god, that's not sanitary. I got a dog hair in there. I'm waiting for Christmas to get this kit. Yes, it will be the best, I promise. <laughs> what people are telling me, you should wash your face more often. I'm like, girl, I wash my face every 10 minutes. Yeah, that's my life. And you know what's funny? Um, and it, he's sitting in the other room, so he's probably gonna hear me. My husband does not wash his face at all, and he has perfect skin. Like, he's had one pimple in four years, and he was like, oh, I'll just put soap on it. I was like, excuse me? Just put soap on it? Oh, I wish that's how it worked for me. Uh, with the roller, you have to use it three to four times and buy a new one. Do I keep buying a new one over again, or just needle the thing itself? Yes, I would keep buying a new one because even though you are, you know, trying your best to sanitize it, it's still going to get kind of skin built up in there and things like that and it's also going to get duller with time. So if you want the best results, you definitely want to keep investing in a new roller for sure. Oh yeah, so <laughs> somebody else commented as well, again, if you guys didn't hear me earlier, if you buy the starter kit, you can get the battalion kit for free. And so it does come with three masks, Ooh. it comes with the frost mask, the atomic mask, and the charcoal mask and each one is specifically targeted for a different part of your face so one is for your forehead um, the charcoal mask I remember specifically is for your nose and then one is for your cheeks and chin so one is supposed to help with hormonal acne one is supposed to help with your pores and with um, kind of oiliness and then the forehead one is supposed to help with forehead acne and it's supposed to be soft enough and gentle enough um, to remove like excess oil and dirt as well and I think that one was my favorite if I can't remember I 
think that one is a frost. It could have been atomic. It's one of the two. Um, but that one is super, super soft. It's like putting silk on your face. It's amazing. I do not use any mineral powder. And for someone asking how many times I do this, I do this whole routine like once every two weeks is probably the max you want to do it. You don't really want to do it any more than that um, using the derma roller just because you want to give your skin time to heal in between and time to kind of reproduce your own collagen. Oh, someone was asking about Accutane again. I have taken it and I did feel like it helped. I had, you guys can go to my profile, it's my face story, scroll all the way down. I don't have that many posts, maybe like a hundred. Um, yes. It has obviously, ooh, there's a fly in something weird. It has obviously very clearly helped my skin. I had severe cystic acne before, um, but I do still get breakouts. It's not the end of the world to me. Um, yes, it helped my skin, but I don't think I would go back and do it again. I have a tiny, tiny scar on my nose after chicken pox. I wonder if the banisher would help it disappear. It's a tiny hole, which annoys me. Yeah, I feel like it honestly would because it helps with acne scars. So why wouldn't it help with just like a regular scar? It helps with wrinkles as well. And I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's worth a try. It definitely sounds like it would help. I roll only on the spots that have been damaged by acne, yes. I don't really do anything on my chin because I don't have any scars on my chin, so I feel like why mess with something that's not broken? As well as my upper lip, I just roll on the parts that I feel like have scars. Would I recommend using Cetaphil? No. <laughs> um, if you guys want a really good app to look up products and kind of their toxicity rate, it's called Think30. It's all one word and you could download it from the app store. It's amazing. Don't know if I should be like talking about that or not in here, but it's so good. Um, you can look up, you know, even natural products sometimes that claim to be natural don't really have natural ingredients in it. But in that you can look up the carc carcinogenic nature of a product or if it's going to affect your hormones because a lot of things in products do affect your hormones and that can cause obviously hormonal balance which can cause acne which is crazy to me um but yeah try it think dirty it'll tell you everything about your products everything that's in your products and if it could be affecting your skin as well um i use which i was really against at first but my friend told me about it and it's awesome it's Shea Moisture African Black Soap. <laughs> it works really well, okay? Just don't get in your eyes because it is soap and it burns pretty bad. Um, the pumpkin mask, I'm probably going to rinse off after the live. I just leave it on until it's dry. It's still a little bit wet, but I leave it on until it's dry. So sometimes like eh, 20, 30 minutes. Banish is cruelty free and a lot of their products are vegan and organic and they are 100% natural. Um, I've been dealing with acne for a long time. I started getting it after high school, kind of towards the end of high school. I'd have a spot here and there, but never like full blown, you know, like cystic acne. I didn't get that until I turned 20. Um, and then I had it for about a year and a half and then obviously I was on Accutane. So, yes, somebody said, what do you do? Use this two weeks past and then you can use it again. Exactly, I use it once every two weeks. And then someone just else asked, what makeup do I use normally? I don't use any makeup. Um, I kind of just go like this now. I'm not really worried about it. I don't care. Husband doesn't care, I don't think, so <laughs> don't really care. <laughs> Feels good to be free. And little red spots on your forehead are those acne scars. They could be like post acne marks. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say they were scars, but I would just wait, you know, I feel like with that, like I still have some too. It just takes time for them to fade really. Um, you could do things like obviously using exfoliation to shed and show new skin or pumpkin enzyme mask will help, you know, something like that. All right guys, well, Looks like my time is up, so I'm gonna go. Thank you for tuning in, for asking any questions that you had, and for chit-chatting. And if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me on my Instagram. It's my face story, as well as my Snapchat. I feel like I'm on Snapchat way more, like every single day. So that might be a better place to contact me. All right, dudes, bye. There's a